stipulated deadlines were not met. The Department of Antiquities did not reply directly to this query. But on 1st July 1989, in an interview with the Los Angeles Times, Amir Drury, the department's director, issued what might be constructed as a nebulous threat. For the first time, we have a plan, and if someone does not complete his work on the time, on time, we have the right to deliver the scrolls to someone else. Strognell himself, however, in an interview with the International Herald Tribune, made clear how lightly he took such threats. We are not running a railroad, he said, and in an, in an interview with ABC Television, he was even more explicit. If I don't meet the deadline by one or two years, I won't worry at all. Millick, in the meantime, remained as Time magazine put, in, put it. Elusive, although... The magazine did manage to attract one characteristically arrogant statement from him. The world will see the manuscripts when I have done the necessary work. Justifiably unappe unappeased, Barr continued its campaign in the ABC television interview. Strugnell with somewhat lumbering humour and manifest contempt, had complained of the recent attacks to which he and his colleagues had been subjected. It seems we've acquired a bunch of fleas. He said, we are in the business of annoying us, Barr promptly ran a signally unflattering photograph of Professor Strugnell surrounding by named fleas, in, in addition to Eisenman and Davies. The named fleas included Professors Joseph Fitzmaier of Catholic University. David Noel Friedman of the University of Michigan, Dieter Georgi of the University of Frankfurt, Norman Golb of the University of Chicago, Z.J. Capera, and Krakow, Philip King of Boston College, T.H. Gaster, and Mon Morton Smith of Columbia and Giza, Vermes of Oxford University. Barr invited all our other biblical scholars who wish to be named public, publicly as pleased to write in. This invitation elicited, elicited, elicited a stream of letters, including one from Professor Jacob Neusner, of the Institute for Advanced Study of at Princeton, author of a number of important works on the origins of Judaism and the formative years of Christianity. Speaking of the international team's work, Professor Neusner described the history of the Dead Sea Scrolls scholarship as a monumental failure which he attributed to arrogance and self-importance. By the autumn of 1989, we had already begun to research this book and in the process to become embroiled. Albert, albeit quietly in the controversy on a trip to Israel to gather material and interview a number of scholars, Michael Bager decided to check on the so-called Oversight Committee. 
recently formed to supervise the work of the international team. In theory, the committee might be anything of the 